in last lecture we have seen what are the different types of the operators that we have like arithmetic operational real relational operator and so on but before come before uh, uh, implementing the relational operators uh, what we have seen we have seen the if else condition or what we say we say that we have seen the conditional statements in c when we talk about the conditional statements we say that there exists either the true part or the false part or we can say there exists the true statement immediately after the uh, 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 condition will become true and false part uh, within, within the else part so we are going to implement all the particular relational operators one by one let's take an example where we are going to take or where we are going to have an example of checking the grades of the student uh, that means either the first comma second comma third comma fail or distinction is it that means we need to check for that we need to get the percentage of the student we need to get the marks of the student say so we say that print print f enter the marks of the student is it when we talk about the enter the marks of the student when we say enter the marks of the student, we are going to use a scanner. Person D, comma, M percent of say we are defining marks. And for that, what we are going to use int marks. Is it? Now, we have taken the marks. When we take the marks, we need to get the maximum marks. Printf enter maximum marks is it maximum marks we say that scan f person d comma person d comma m percent of maximum marks m marks manerica is it so i am going to define here m marks as well Now we have taken both now what we are going to use we are going to use the percentage so in order to make a uh, define the percentage variable for percentage we have used per we say that per is equivalent to percentage marks obtained that means m marks divide by marks obtained that means marks oh sorry we say that marks obtained divided by maximum marks multiply by 100. This is our percentage. Is it? Uh, first of all, we will ensure that uh, our percentage is equivalent to percent D, comma, P, E, R. Is it? Now, first we are going to compile it. Is it now we are going to run this particular program? Enter the marks of the student, say 340. Enter the maximum mark, say 500. Percentage is equivalent to zero. So it's not getting the percentage here. So we need to rectify it or we need to fix it. What's the problem? say what we are going to use let me just define it as a float float so that percentage and uh, we are going to use percent f compile execute say 300 out of 
500 percentage is now 00, zero. now if we change this marks as well in percentage float because percent f m percent of marks percent f let's compile this one what is this okay it was a mistake within this float so when we are going to run compile yes execute run say 306 divide by what we maximum marks is uh, 61.69 so we got our percentage so what we need we need to calculate whether our percentage our uh, student will get uh, the distinction based upon the percentage or it will get first first uh, first uh, class second class third class for that what we are going to use we are going to use the relational operators in collaboration with the logical operators we say that if our percentage is greater or equivalent to say 33 logical and percentage is less than 45 is it if it is like this then what we are going to use we are going to use printf grade first that means the logical operators those for example if we have put the percentage as 37 we are checking within the percentage per we have 37 is 37 greater than or equivalent to 33 obviously it is true that means one part of the logical operation is true second part if P per is less than uh, 45 within current scenario let us assume that percentage is 37 37 is less than 40 that means this is true this is true and within the logical and operators we say that when the both conditions are evaluated as true then and only then our output is equivalent to true that means when both these conditions will get true then and only this uh, statement will get executed if for example our our uh, this particular condition or our percentage is say for example 50 is 50 greater or equivalent to 33 that means within the per uh, we have 50 say for example if per is equivalent to th uh, 50 we it will check is per greater than 33 that means is 50 greater than 33 obviously it is but what about this condition is 50 less than 45 that means one condition will be evaluated true another will be evaluated as false i told you people that within and operator when both the conditions are true then and only then our output is equivalent to true that means this part will not get executed it will go to the else part else part we are doing what we are doing if we are doing another condition check it we are if per is greater or equivalent to 45 and per less than 60 is it or what we can see it is grade 3 that means if it is great uh, within the grade 3 say for example agar a percentage hamari hogi 45 se leke 60 tak to usme kya lagayenge hum printf grade second that means hum jo hue hai pass hue hai with the grade second magar agar ab hamari percentage hai wo hai say 60 se ab 70s mein to hum kya karenge per greater or equivalent to 60 and per less than or less than 75 तो हम क्या करेंगे हम लिखेंगे print f grade first 
ग्रेड फर्स्ट अब अगर हमारे पास परसेंटेज होगी से फॉर एग्जांपल 75 और 80 हंड्रेड uh, के बीच में तो हम क्या लिखेंगे पी ई आर ग्रेटर और इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव एंड पी ई आर लेस देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड तो हम क्या लिखेंगे हमारा जो बंदा पास हुआ है वो हुआ है डिस्टिंग के साथ पास ठीक है मगर अगर इनमें से कोई भी एक भी नहीं है तो हम क्या करेंगे हम एल्स पार्ट में लिखेंगे हम एल्स पार्ट में लिखेंगे कि प्रिंट एफ फेल्स क्योंकि ये जो लड़का है इसने कोई भी क्राइटेरिया क्लियर नहीं किया ना इसके मार्क्स 33 से 45 के बीच में है ना 45 से 80 60 के बीच में है ना 80 से 75 के बीच में ना 75 से 100 के बीच में दैट मीन परसेंटेज इसकी कहीं पर नहीं है लेट अस सी दिस थिंग ओके वी हैव मिसड सेमी कोलन हियर सो वी आर गोइंग टू पुट सेमी कोलन कंपाइल ओके नो एरर्स नो वार्निंग्स रन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट इज फर्स्ट ड्रॉ लाइक इट हमारे पास बंदा एक है वो ट्वेंटी एट मार्क्स लेके आता है ठीक है ना और उसका जो पांच सौ में से तो फाइव परसेंट बनता है और हम ऐसे करेंगे एक बंदा जो है ना वो वन फोर्टी फाइव मार्क्स लेके आता है फाइव हंड्रेड में से तो उनतीस परसेंट बनती है तो फेल ठीक है ना तो हम क्या करेंगे और एक बार रन करेंगे और एक बंदा जो आता है वो आता है 190 मार्क्स लेके और आउट ऑफ 500 38 मार्क्स 38 परसेंट बनते हैं दैट मीन इट इज बिटवीन यू आर 33 एंड 45 तो ग्रेड थ्री आर है उसके बाद और एक ट्राई मारते हैं रन करते हैं हमारे पास जो मार्क्स है अब वो है टू फिफ्टी और मैक्सिमम मार्क्स है फाइव हंड्रेड ग्रेड सेकेंड बिकॉज फिफ्टी है हमारे पास उसके बाद और एक ट्राई मारते हैं रन करते हैं तो इसमें हम बोलेंगे कि इसके जो मार्क्स है थ्री नाइन टू नाइनटी है और आउट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड ग्रेड सेकेंड फिर से आ रहा है अब फिर हम करेंगे काम हम हमारे पास जो मार्क्स है वो है से फॉर एग्जांपल 323 और आउट ऑफ 500 500 तो ग्रेड 64 परसेंट आ रहा है तो ग्रेड फर्स्ट आ रहा है ठीक है उसके बाद अगर और और रन करेंगे अब हम मार्क्स देंगे से फॉर एग्जांपल 390 आउट ऑफ 500 तो परसेंटेज 78 आ रहा है तो डिस्टिंक्शन आ रहा है दैट मीन्स इन ऑल केसेज इट्स शोइंग यूनिकनेस कि अगर इस रेंज में आएगा तो ये होना चाहिए इस रेंज में आ गया ये होना चाहिए उस रेंज में आया दीज आर द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स इन कलेब्रेशन विद यूर इफ एंड एल्स वी हैव टेकन रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर लेस देन ग्रेटर देन लेस देन आर इक्वल टू ग्रेटर नो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स द लॉजिक बिहाइंड द प्रोग्राम आर well much dependent upon these relational operators so what you are going to do within your uh, assignments you will give an assignment and submit it in your whatsapp group that check whether a uh, number is whether a number 231479 is odd or second we'll check whether a boy is eligible for 
voting or not for voting 18 years 18 and more years of age is eligible for voting okay okay these two assignments you are going to submit via uh, whatsapp group. hope you have understood the concept of at least if else and uh, this we call as a if else leader is it now uh, you have uh, understand the concept of relational operators as well in the next lecture we are going to see the other operators that we are going to discuss thank you thank you very much